we're going to talk about how to improve your client relationships and all the things that you can do to just improve what it's like to work with you. So before we get into it, just real quick, I am Lauren Barr. I own the Smarter Creative and I come alongside creative small business owners to help them get organized and streamlined in the behind the scenes of their business. And the whole reason I started this business was because I was frustrated being a client of creatives whose business was a hot mess. It was really hard to work with them. My invoices weren't coming at a, on regular times. Communication was not always great. I was setting up systems so like I could have organized information coming at me. I was just really frustrated. I was managing a creative team at a church at the time and we were working with freelancers and whew, there was just a gap. <laughs> so it is my favorite thing now to help creatives get organized so that their client experience can be so much better. And I say it a lot, but systems, having these systems in place, it does not limit you. I know it feels that way. It feels limiting or just not great to have canned emails set up or a, a way that you work with your clients because every client's unique, every project's unique. And I totally get that and respect that. But you and your clients both deserve an organized way to work together. And that falls in your lap as the business owner. You get to control how your client works with you and how you work with your client. So we're going to talk about a few things on how to just improve your client relations in a systems base and just some tips relationally and how you can improve your client relations because ultimately improved client relations means referrals, repeat clients, people gushing over you because I know if you're already in business, your work is beautiful. Your work is amazing. But just like you might go to a restaurant and it has awesome food, but the service was terrible. You may do that once, maybe twice, but or at least for me, if the service is repeatedly terrible, I'm not going back. No matter how great the restaurant is, if I can't get good service, I just, I don't, I'll go somewhere else. <laughs> so this is just me and how I want to be treated and how I want to help you treat your clients. So let's get it. The right, first thing I want to talk about is your onboarding of a client, what that looks like, especially when it comes to communication. You should have a on boarding process where the deliverables and timelines are very clearly stated at the beginning of working with you. There should be nothing vague of what this exchange of money for talents is going to result. Like your communication needs to be really clear at the on set. That should be a proposal, a contract should be written, a clear invoice, like however you can just clearly state your expectations of working together initially. Amazing. You want to do that. Now there is possibility to communicate more in depth timelines, if you actually need information from your client, the quicker you can ask for it and let them know, hey, I need this information back by X date so they know when they need to clear it by. I even have a client, they're really good at communication with schedules for their clients' websites and branding and things. And they will not even set a timeline until they hear back from their client of, I think I will be able to have this information to you by X date. And based on that, sentiment, like whatever that client said, then a schedule gets built out from there and it gets referenced during the working process. 
So now we're gonna talk about what it's like when you actually have an onboarded client and how you work with them in a clear way when they're already booked with you. If a lot of your back and forth with clients is happening, like there's a lot of it, and it's happening in an email base, like you're just sending emails back and forth asking questions, I want you to pause like, how you're doing your business and really think about, can I ask these questions that we're going back and forth on, on a clear onboarding document in one place that the client can go through and fill everything out. And if there is a lot of back and forth that needs to happen, consider getting out of email and into a project management system of some sort. And honestly, this could be as simple as a Google Doc. Like, it does not have to be complex. I love Notion, but most of my back and forth with my clients actually happens inside of Dubsado. I use a lot of forms and I use the client portal inside of Dubsado to just share forms, share information, share meetings where people can just go in and grab a meeting time. But if I had more, if my service just needed more input from clients, I would probably pull up another project management tool, maybe a Trello, a Basecamp, ClickUp, whatever works for you and your brain and the way you want to work with clients. Just because emails get lost and who really wants to be working inside of their emails all of the time. If you don't go back and forth a lot with your clients, you might not need a project management system to bring your clients into, although I still would recommend you personally, business owner, have some kind of a project management system to stay organized yourself, but that's another video for another time. So portals can be really handy in keeping all the information in one place. And sure, clients, they might not actually reach for it and use it, they still might ask you a question. It's all in the portal. If they need to schedule a meeting with you, the link is in their client portal. If they need to fill out a form, pay their invoice, see the contract, like whatever it is, it's all waiting for them in one, one place. <laughs> Now let's talk communication as you just work with your clients, even before a lead to a client to offboarding. And I just really want to encourage you to be honest and clear as much as you can that relies on you and not, not make up things because it sounds good, not over promise and then you end up under delivering like just be really clear with your words that you verbally say that you type out and say because people are taking what you say very seriously and you just don't want to let them down because every client that you have is an opportunity for a repeat client for a referral. This is the heartbeat of your business, is the people that you are working with and you want to make working with you as easy, breezy, clear, honest as you possibly can. And that's really the core of customer relationship building is the actual connection you have with the person. Are you being your most authentic self with them? Are you being honest, reliable, do you do what you say you're going to do? This is client relationship building. And then bonus, you can send a thank you for booking me gift, like a physical gift or a gift card or something to them. But I will tell you a gift given, if it's also met with deadlines that aren't made or miscommunications. Like, I don't want the gift. I want the clear working relationship. But maybe that's just me. <laughs> I know gifts are not a love language for me. So maybe someone else really does appreciate a gift. There are a few different like easy gift giving things that you can do for clients. Yeah, you sure could send a branded something for yourself to them, but that's not really the most thoughtful gift you could give somebody. I really don't need something that's branded for your business. I would much rather have something that's more thoughtful for me, like a gift certificate to a Starbucks or DoorDash or a gift, 
I don't know, just some kind of thank you gift, flowers, whatever. Just something that would be awesome to receive. And it's just a little icing on the cake. Or honestly, you could write a thank you note an in-person physical thank you note and have it be in the mail. Especially if you're a digital service provider, the connection that a physical something can bring to the connection he, like digitally to being a physical thing really helps build that relationship with your client. Those are my notes when it comes to building client relationships. It's really not that hard. <laughs> Just doing what you say you're gonna do, be personable, be yourself, and communicate well. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I love putting out videos that help you as a small business owner work smarter instead of harder. And if you are needing help getting organized in your backend system so that your client relationship automation systems, whatever, just gets organized. I would love, love, love to help you. And I've got a link down below for a free 30 minute clarity call where we can talk about how I might be able to support you in your business. And nothing would make me happier than to help you get your business running smoothly, not only for you, but for your clients. So I will see you guys next week.